settings once more let's check if we are recording okay yeah, it's recording great so the reason i keep on checking if it's recording is because sometimes just like uh right now before uh right now i was recording i thought i was recording so i actually spoke for i gave a lesson for more than 20 minutes only to realize that it was not recording so I apologize if I don't sound enthusiastic about this lesson because what I'm saying I've just told myself uh, for the past 20 to 30 minutes. But then nonetheless, let's continue with the lesson. So uh, it's about fundamentals once more. Uh, right now we're dealing with the economic calendar on your investing.com app. The last lesson we're talking about uh, if the actual comes in stronger or weaker than the consensus or forecast and also the previous the pair will rise the currency sorry the currency will rise or fall it will be weak or be strong okay let's just use weak and strong weak is for fall and strong is for rise so uh, i didn't include another part whereby you find that the i'm not talking about manipulation whereby you find that the actual reading the actual reading this is the actual just a, re a quick recap this is the actual the actual reading comes in higher than the forecast but then the currency becomes weak usually when the actual remember from the from the past lessons when the actual comes in higher than the forecast or consensus uh, it should be strong it should be bullish for the currency the currency should be strong during those news releases but then we have an instance whereby the forecast comes in uh, no the actual comes in higher than the forecast and it's negative and it's not a manipulation it's the way it should be it's how uh yeah it's just how it should be if the actual reading for this news release comes higher than the forecast it should be negative instead of positive for the currency and if the reading comes comes in lower than the forecast it should be uh, positive for the currency instead of negative the currency should be strong instead of weak so this actually opposes what we are uh, used to it opposes the norm of how the market should be uh, reacting so these instances are when we are dealing with unemployment rate uh, the jobless claims and also crude oil inventories so i'll explain why but then first let's just look at this example we have here just a quick recap the actual came in lower than the forecast that's why it's in red then it shows weakness for uh, the GBP currency. Then here we have JOLT's job openings, USD. The actual came in higher than the consensus or forecast, which was positive for the USD currency. It was strong. The USD was strong here. Then GBP was weak here. So now that's that. Let's now move on to instances where the opposite is observed. That's where we deal with, as I mentioned before, unemployment rate and also the initial jobless claims, something which has to deal with unemployment. If unemployment is rising, this is what you should know. This is, uh, okay, if unemployment is rising, that's weak for the economy that's weak for the country that's bad news that's negative news for the economy uh, or the country if unemployment is rising hence if the actual reading of the unemployment rate increases then it's uh, colored in red and the currency becomes weak so let's take a look at uh, an example here Let's take an example here with CAD. Let's take an example with CAD. 
So you see the unemployment rate here. The unemployment rate came in higher. The reading came in higher than the the actual reading came in higher than the consensus or the forecast. So it was negative for the currency. Although it came in higher, it was negative. So even if you look at the initial jobless claims, the actual reading was higher than the forecast. It was negative for the currency. Because uh, when more people are getting unemployed, it's, it's negative. It's something which you, you know. If people are getting unemployed, it's negative. So, uh, here's another thing which you might have not noticed. If you just click on the event, it tells you. It tells you what the event entails. Okay. I clicked something by accident. So, okay, initial jobless claims. It tells you, it explains what the event is and how it will impact the market or the currency. Here they tell you, it's here. They tell you that initial jobless claims measures the number of people who filed for unemployment insurance for the first time during the past week. And it further goes to tell you in the last paragraph, it says, a reading that is higher than the forecast is generally negative or bearish for the USD, while a lower than forecast reading is generally supportive or bullish for the USD. Even if we go to the unemployment rate, it also tells you unemployment rate measures the percentage of the total workforce that is not working yet actively seeking employment. Then it further tells you that a reading that is higher than the forecast is generally negative or bearish for the CAD, while a lower than forecast reading is generally supportive or bullish for the CAD. So if we have less people getting unemployed, then it's good news, which is positive for the current and economy but then if we have a high number of people getting unemployed that's bad news and it's negative for the economy or currency so that's the instance whereby you find that uh, the readings the actual readings actually have opposite effect to the market movement under normal conditions now we will be dealing with uh, uh, abnormal conditions just like we have geopolitical factors at play right now the coronavirus speaking about the coronavirus now so uh, i advised people to stay away from trading uh, fundamentals or economic uh, news releases because the market is not stable the market is currently being driven by fear so uh, events are not moving like they normally should the expected movement is not occurring the opposite is what is occurring so right now, let's take a look at uh, CAD employment change. We have this horrific number for CAD employment change. This number is so weak that even if you took, the actual number is so weak and so negative that even if you took the, the forecast and the previous reading, combined them and doubled them, they wouldn't even give you the figures which were projected by the actual reading so it, it it had to be it i think a record has been set by this number of uh, people who were who, okay a record has been set by this uh, actual numbers so if we get such a horrific reading we are expecting a sure case sell for CAD. We are expecting CAD to be weak. This is very negative news. Whereas on top of that, on top of that, we also have the unemployment. Yeah, I was just on the unemployment rate for CAD. It rose. So everything was colored in red. We should expect a definite fall of the currency. But then it didn't happen. USD CAD went down, meaning CAD was strong. GP CAD went down, Euro CAD went down, CAD GPY went up. So the, the opposite happened. Instead of the currency being weak, it somehow became strong. Only AUD and NZD CAD uh, were the ones which rose, which acted accordingly. So you see, it was mixed reactions from the market. Whereas it should have just been one tone of a sell. So that's where market makers or, or 
whichever principle. Remember, we have different theories for why the markets react the way they are reacting. But then whatever the theory, the market reacted opposite. So many people saw this event, which they, they had it right, because it's in red, it's colored in red, so it should sell. The numbers are horrible, it should sell. And then the, the opposite happened. So that's why I'm advising people to refer, refrain from trading fundamentals at the moment until this whole COVID-19 issue is cleared and the, uh, the, the economies are starting to pick up momentum and everything's slowly getting back to normal. You know, everything is getting fixed. In the meantime, I advise people to stay away from trading these economic releases because if the event moves it moves oppositely or okay in most cases if it moves it moves oppositely or it uh it rejects it gaps it just do all sorts of stuff the spreads are increased so eventually most people end up blowing their accounts for no reason whether you got the direction wrong or right you just just blow your account so it's just like a donation to the brokers you're just saying brokers here is my money when you say fund, when you click on fund, it's not fund, it's actually donate. You're just clicking on donate. When you buy or sell, it's donate. All the options, there's no buy or sell. It's just donate and donate. So in order to stop donating, uh, wait, wait, pause a bit on trading fundamentals in the meantime. Then when things start picking up, you'll just hop on. So uh, another thing, another thing, I think I've forgotten something. Okay, yeah, uh, I have to give a lesson on economic indicators, you know. So we can use this app or this economic calendar not only for knowing that when this news, uh, the news will come at this time, they will be for this currency and then they should be weak or strong. Uh, we also can use it uh, as a sort of analysis. That's where economic indicators come in. Because sometimes you hear me talking about leading economic indicators for NFP, leading economic uh, indicators for retail sales, for GDP, and all those things. That's where you can uh, sort of get them here. You can find those uh, indicators. If you know them, you can find them. Then you can use them to predict whether the upcoming events will be weak or strong so the next lesson will be on economic indicators talking about the cpi uh, the gdps the ppi the consumer confidence the adp non-farm uh, employment change the manufacturing pmi non-manufacturing pmi all those things how you can use them to actually know how nfp will react or how the interest rates will react and all those things without uh, focusing too much on the chart using economics. That will be our next lesson.